Now, of course, whenever rain or storms roll through central Georgia, they always move from west to east. But why is that the case? Meteorologist Taylor Stephenson breaks down the science behind storm movement in this week's episode of WeatherWorks. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson here to explain to you how your weather works. Whenever us meteorologists track storm systems moving in, it's noticeable that the western areas get in on the action first. That's true for half of the northern hemisphere. This is all thanks to the winds. Let's break down prevailing winds. Those are just the direction the winds blow most often, and they change with latitude or north to south on the globe. In the northern hemisphere, specifically the United States, our prevailing winds blow from west to east in conjunction with Earth's rotation. This causes storms to move in the same direction along the jet stream. The jet stream is a corridor of very fast moving winds, about five to nine miles above the ground. This corridor helps move weather systems around the Earth. On the flip side, when we get impacted by hurricanes, they come from the east, the opposite direction. That's because the prevailing winds blow from east to west in the tropics. Once a hurricane moves about 30 degrees north or right around the northern Gulf of Mexico, its direction changes from west to east. Hurricane hunters use this information to best guess where a hurricane is going to go. The global winds control a lot of things from big hurricanes to small weather systems. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson and that's how your weather works. Thanks so much, Taylor. I love those segments so much. If you have any questions on weather phenomena and why they work, be sure to email us at news at 13wmaz.com. Your question might be the next weather works topic.